Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for May the 10th of 2020, well, it is titled The Porpoise Galaxy from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is a galaxy known as NGC 2936, and also sometimes called the Porpoise Galaxy for its dolphin-like shape. And this is an example of a spiral galaxy, and while it does not look like any kind of spiral galaxy that we've ever seen, it looks it is being distorted by the gravity of the other large galaxy down below. So, hundreds of millions of years ago, this would have looked just like any other ordinary spiral galaxy that we were used to looking at. Uh, look at the great spiral arms and lots of star-forming regions. And then what happened was that it approached close to a large elliptical galaxy that we see below and to the right of it. And when it did that, the gravity, gravitational fields interacted and have distorted the spiral galaxy into this unusual shape. So a lot of the things that we associate with the spiral galaxy are still there. We see the bright blue star clouds. In fact, probably more of them than you are used to seeing in a spiral galaxy. And that's because the gravitational interactions will cause uh, gas and dust clouds within the spiral galaxy to combine together and to enhance the rate of star formation. So there's a lot more star formation going on here, and that causes far more blue stars and gives a very blue color to this galaxy. We can also see the dark dust lanes where there is still more material ready to form stars. But this is all getting distorted by this, the, the uh, interaction, by the gravitational interaction of the larger galaxy down below. And what will happen over the next hundreds of millions to a billion years is that these galaxies will slowly combine into one single galaxy. And this is how we believe galaxies grow over time and change. That long ago, uh, shortly after the Big Bang, we had a lot of small galaxies, very small galaxies, much smaller than our Milky Way, and they would combine together through collisions. And back in the distant past, collisions were even far more common than they are today. Galaxies were packed much closer together, and the galaxies would combine. And over time, they built up the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today. And collisions still go on, not quite as common as they used to be, but are still going on and are still shaping the galaxies that we see today. So that was our picture of the day for May the 10th of 2020. It was titled The Porpoise Galaxy from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be behind Betelgeuse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.